Welcome to Mad About Travel. I'm Esther Von Lee. And I'm Nick McGuire. And this episode is all about Essie's surprise birthday trip to the seaside. Friday night, I came over to Manchester and we kick-started the weekend off with an amazing charity ball. Nick was hosting and I was lucky enough to wear a red dress from designer friend Jake Mutter. Beautiful. Beautiful. Next morning, I was invited to local radio station to talk about my upcoming speech in Parliament. Mid-interview, I got a text message of Nick. So basically, I'd spent the last few days preparing a surprise for Esther, which was to take her to an amazing hotel in Southwall, but I know that she'd always wanted to do something very special. So this is what happened. Okay, so Essie's birthday this weekend, and she's always wanted to go on a camper van tour. So down to my good friends, uh, Posh Pamper Camper. Uh, they've lent us a camper van, and I'm taking her on a road trip. She's currently on a radio station doing a programme, doesn't know what's happening, so I'm gonna show up in this. And uh, as long as I can get into that lane over there, in uh, this camper van, then I should be picking up the Essie from a radio show. Come on, we're going on a road trip. Come on. She's talking to the homeless. Come round. We're going on a road trip. Oh my god. Oh. This is so good. I did not expect this at all. Good. Oh, I'm, um, wow. Van, so we're going on a road trip like you want to do in the Volkswagen camper van so for cool. your birthday. Thank but you. when I say road trip, I mean road trip. Right, okay. So okay. it's basically uh, seven hours until we get there. So okay. buckle up. We're, yeah. we're on the way. I tried to think of everything. The camper van was even the same year as Essie's birthday year. But there was no sound system in the camper van. It had been put away for winter. So being on top of this, knowing Esther loves her music, I went and got a speaker system from home, plugged it in so she could have her favorite tunes as we went down to Southwall. It was meant to be seven hours. It actually took 10. I mean, how many times did we see that? Uh, church. church. Like, I, was, I, I felt like crying. We've gone round and round so often. They are. Like, they are. How the hell are you meant to eat that? Look at that. Can't it's worse than a whopper. It's a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> Not the whopper. But whilst we were having our sandwich, I asked Esther, could she go and take some video? That was not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you do something actually. You're going to have to help out when we've had this. Oh. Let's run down to that bus stop. Yeah. Hold the camera and film with the back, just hold the camera so you've got all these houses behind it and then the camper van going past. And then I'll stop and pick you up, are you with me? Yeah. So I've got some shots of the, dram, of the van driving around. So you want me to film where I run? <laughs> run? You said run to the bus stop and film. I don't have to run. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just meant like trot along to the bus stop, not like you have to film you running. Oh, I thought, oh, okay. And then stand there and then you film the van going past. Okay. You with me? Yeah. I can do that. I hope so. Do you know what? They've been a little bit stingy on the avocado. Right, so I'm walking up there. Oh my god. No, oh, just no. explain it. I'll ask you. Go to the <laughs> bloody bus stop and film me going past. That is not difficult. Mm. Yeah, but it is. Am I going to walk backwards and all of them? <laughs> Or am I going to film, walk that, and then film? Yes. Okay, I got it now. <clears throat> this year's Oscar for Achievement in Cinematography. Yeah, the, the camp van was great, really easy to drive. Can't find the gear. Right. Anyway, we managed to get to Southall, but my great friend Linda was the new GM. This hotel, the Swan, had just gone through a six and a half million pound refurb, and because it was Esther's birthday, Lyndon had upgraded us to one of the best rooms. So I was desperate to get there, but because we got lost, we didn't arrive there until about 10. 
However, Linda was kind enough to keep, keep the kitchen open a little bit longer and it was worth it. The food was just simply delicious. I, I've never tasted a steak like that before. The presentation, the staff, it, it was just perfect. It was great. What's brilliant about this place is they have their own brewery on site, so you get all the local beers that are brewed there. They do their own vodka, so the food and drink is pretty special, yeah, right? Really cool. But then we got to see the room. <laughs> had a lovely nautical feel to it, yet modern, mm. four poster beds, and there was a special lounge area with a little library, the bathroom was amazing, his and her towels, it, it just felt perfect. The next day was Sunday and Lyndon suggested we have to have the Sunday rose and then go and explore the village. And they brought you a birthday surprise, didn't oh, they? Oh, that was so sweet. They came out, love, and, and again, the presentation, it was just so lovely. So we went in the afternoon, went to explore the high street and it is a beautiful place if you've not been to Southwall. There's a lighthouse there. They have these fantastic boutique shops. There's a department store. And what we started to realize is we were getting a little bit of attention. This is the time when we came down to Southall um, to look at the beautiful coastline and like there's, there's nice um, shops. Yeah, you know, very posh, and, and It's very middle class. But what we've realised is we've come down here in uh, rock star city clothing <laughs> and um, <laughs> it makes it look like we're shooting a porno because everyone else is dressed in jewels and flat caps and wellies <laughs> and nobody has heels. No. Nobody has boda skins leather jackets no that's for sure um and nobody's sort of wearing like wet look kind of. uh, like it's just just just, stand up, just, yeah. just let the, the whole audience see this is what she looks like on the beach <laughs> like well hello boys inexplicable Exploring the town, packed our belongings up back in the camper van, and I think we got about 15 minutes from the hotel because we saw a little pop there by the harbour, and basically that was our stay for the night, and it wasn't boring. So we go into this pub. There's only me and Esther in there. It's like being out something from the American Wealth in London. After having an enjoyable evening in the pub, we went back to the camper van for a cosy night under the stars. A cold night under the stars, Nicholas. Basically, what had happened is, in my, in my desire to give Esther music and plug in a speaker system all the way down, we drained the leisure battery, which meant no electricity and no heating. Which also meant I could wear my boulder skin jacket all night long because I wasn't taking that off. I had to stay warm. We got, we got you a, I got you a leather jacket for, for um, a birthday and it needs to say it served as a as a blanket more than a fashion accessory that day. All in all, Southwold is an incredible destination down there on the East Anglia coast. It is quaint, there is the beautiful beach, the seas, it's got its own like microclimate, there's an old pier, the beautiful lighthouse, and of course the star of the show is the Swan, this newly refurbished six and a half million pound hotel, this boutique hotel with fabulous food and great staff, and really encourage you to go and pop along to it. What did you think of a camper van in the end? Do you know what I really, really enjoyed? Going from the contrast of one night sleeping so luxurious to roughing it up in a camper van. It's just like, it's just too good. It was great fun. And in fairness, did you have a good birthday? It was the best. It really was. If you'd like to keep up to date with our latest videos, do hit us up on our Facebook page and hit like, that's forward slash Mad About Travel Official. Or go to our YouTube channel, hit subscribe and click the little bell that will notify you every time we do an update. But if you want to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram. You are Essentials. And I am at Mr. Underscore Deansgate. And so until next time, stay mad about travel.
Thanks for... <coughs>